Hey guys, how's it going? It's Brian for GumballTech.com, and in this video, I'll be bringing you my review of the Hard Candy Cases Candy Slider in red. It's available in four different colors: red, pink, white, and black, and it retails for 35 bucks over at HardCandyCases.com. Is this case worth the 35 bucks? Well, we will find out very shortly. Uh, I would like to thank Hard Candy Cases for sending this out to me free for review. So first, let's take a look at the packaging. Quite simple. Uh, very minimalistic and getting inside of the packaging the only thing that you actually get is the case you don't get a screen shield a little user's guide no stickers no microfiber cleaning cloth or anything like that you just get the case itself now this is basically a plastic or excuse me it's a soft touch polycarbonate uh, case uh, two-piece slider there are some rubber rails in the on the inside portion of the case now everybody has heard the story where people's iPhone 4s, the glass on their iPhone 4s would crack because of these sorts of uh, two-piece slider cases. Um, this case honestly scares me because of how tight the fit is on my iPhone 4. Now the first time I tried to fit this case onto my iPhone, I had a front screen shield and a, re and a rear screen shield, which are actually right here. I actually took them off specifically to do this video. And basically, the, the fit was so tight where I almost broke the case trying to take it off of the phone. Um, if you remember my video on the Hard Candy Cases bubble slider, uh, sort of the same issue. It wasn't as bad as these, though. But anyway, I'm going to go for it, and I'm just going to say that it's still tight even with the screen shields off. Very, very tight fit. You have to apply a lot of pressure to really get your phone all the way into the case. Uh, you can actually see that the plastic is sort of bent a little bit. Or excuse me, the polycarbonate. So sticking the bottom piece on, just like that. Now, in terms of the case, it's not too bad. It fits really nice on there. Uh, it has a really good color to it. Uh, let me lock the phone. Uh, going over the ports and the coverage, on the top you have a cutout for the power button. You have a cutout for the 3.5mm headset jack and the noise cancellation microphone. You also have a good cutout for the silent switch. Uh, you'll probably want to get there with your fingernail. It's not exactly easy to get in there with your thumb. But we also have a cutout for the volume buttons. And we have one large cutout at the bottom for the microphone, the 30-pin uh, dock connector, and the speaker. On the, bo uh, the back, we have a cutout for the, for the, uh, the camera and the flash. Basically, as a case, it's not too bad. It has a nice little lay on the table design, and it feels pretty nice. Now, if this case wasn't so hard to install and uninstall, I might consider this case. And the price is pretty crazy as well. 35 bucks just for this piece of polycarbonate? Not worth it at all, in my opinion. Uh, maybe throw in a screen shield? No, you can't throw in a screen shield because this case doesn't work with them. It barely works without them. So the bottom piece slides out really easily. This top portion is really difficult, and I haven't figured out a simple way of taking the case, or the phone, out of the case. Um, so what I try and do is I just sort of lift the sides over my phone, which is really dangerous, um, and then you could try and pull it out like that. That was my video on the hard candy cases, candy slider for the iPhone 4. Um, you could, sub you could uh, subscribe to my channel if you'd like. Uh, you could also leave any comments down below or questions. Uh, that's about it. So thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you guys later.